Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, this is gonna be showcase for uh, my plasma orb uh, blade build, and uh, as promised, we're gonna do some uh, 500 plus uh, corruption echoes. This build so far has been uh, really a breeze uh, during my corruption push. I wanna show you how this uh, plays out in uh, echoes. Basically, your re rotation is. Uh, Spamming a couple of uh, rune bolts, then flame rush to get your plasma orb, and you also need uh, to get your plasma orb out of uh, runic invocation. It is basically required to have uh, mainly two of them out when we're talking about uh, echo content, but three is very, very desirable uh, if you can get your rotations. Uh, very well, as you can see, like nothing stands around. Um, generally speaking, n rares are not gonna be an issue with this build. Uh, I haven't had an issue with any modifiers uh, as well. Like uh, the the worst modifier for any crit build, like this one, is definitely the uh, crit avoidance. I've done uh, bosses with uh, crit avoidance and a bunch of other modifiers, but everything is completely fine. Yeah, maybe you get a little bit slower boss kill, but that's it. It's not gonna give you a very hard time as other builds. The, the thing is that uh, we are having a lot of hits in uh, this build, because Plasma Orb Collisions uh, has 5 damage hit and also, we have the arcs from uh, the plasma orbs, and with three plasma orbs, you triple all of those hits as well. So, like, if you notice at my skill bar, you will see that I am not even pressing flame ward that much uh, very, very often. Like, I usually press flame ward when I'm uh, fighting uh, some uh, dangerous pack, or uh, like so, or. Uh, maybe a dangerous uh, rare mob or something like that if you stack a lot of uh, modifiers of course you might need uh, to press flame ward uh, a little bit more but generally speaking the build is very very chill the play style is really good uh it's definitely very very nice for uh monolith uh, farming and um we have a very good benefit of killing a, a lot of mobs like even if you are actually uh, rushing to your objective you will be killing a lot of mobs in uh, the in your way there and that's always really nice especially when you push over 400 corruption you're gonna be getting a lot of uh, uh, uniques you're gonna be dropping a lot of exalted items so it's uh, an ex excellent uh, build uh, to just farm. You can see that uh, boss just disappeared there. I honestly have no idea what kind of uh, mods we have. Oh, we got crit avoidance as well now. Okay. Yeah. Got a uh, little bit of damage. Now we also added uh, extra health to the monsters. <coughs> Like we have like power 450 uh, rarity right now. As I said, if you keep your three plasma orbs uh, up, you're not gonna have uh, any problems with uh, monsters. Also keep in mind that when you're flame rushing into a monster with your plasma orbs, uh, already orbiting around you that's uh, some of the maximum amount of uh, burst damage that you can uh, have in this build because it's very very easy that uh, the orbs will be colliding uh, to the monster you are actually rushing through and uh, you are getting uh, a lot of hits out of it you're gonna have uh, collisions you're gonna have your axe so, the damage you are doing when you're flame rushing into a mob is really, really good. Alright, uh, let's do the boss actually with uh, crit avoidance now. 
because I do want to point out a couple of things uh, for bosses in general. This is also a great boss to demonstrate because it has very high mobility, like uh, a lot of his uh, skills. So as you can see, I'm sitting about a few meters away from the boss and the reason why I'm doing that is uh, basically I need to maximize my damage by having uh, the plasma orbs uh, collide. Now unfortunately that's not a very easy task because flame rush is quite uncontrollable if we're being honest. So you're not gonna achieve that uh, always. The build still has plenty of damage uh, and plenty of hits through the arcs so it's just something that you can do it's a little bit added Oops. also even if you don't sequence your uh, spells perfectly the other invocations that uh, you might get out of uh, your uh, flame rush or uh, manual casting your uh, runic invocation is actually going to be uh, some decent uh, amount of uh, damage or uh, clear. So the random vocations also can help you with this uh, with the damage and the clear uh, of the build. So pretty good. This is with crit avoidance, and you see the fight is not very tough. This is 530 corruption. We have a few modifiers up and. Yeah, we're doing good without even having to concentrate a lot. I'm uh, just talking here and yeah. So as you can understand, the build functions very well. I am going to be pushing uh, this build a little bit more, see how much I can achieve. And uh, maybe I have a, a further update uh, later on to how much corruption have we pushed and how many arena waves as well, because I'm already at uh, 445 arena waves as well so yeah that'll be it for me hope you enjoy the build if you actually play the build and uh, you need any help if you have any questions you can always uh, drop uh, my my tweets uh, channel i'm streaming almost every day and i'm always happy to answer your questions thank you for being here thank you for watching uh, i'll catch you in the next one bye